We are in the city of Newport Beach at Little Corona Beach. I love this beach because I think it offers so much to the visitor. You can come down here with little children and you can have a nice beach day. There's a lifeguard on duty, so you have a lifeguard here. And in addition to playing in the sand, we have these beautiful rocks. So the kids can go out and they can find little hermit crabs, little shore crabs. They can look at the sea anemones. And uh, we are generally down here teaching. So um, we set up our education table. The visitors come down. And it becomes not just a day at the beach, but it gives people an opportunity to learn. I've had so many people, um, after following me around on the rocks and me telling them about different things, like, wow, you know, I didn't know that, or oh, I learned so much today. So this beach has the advantage of not only being beautiful and having multiple things to be able to do, but we, you can be educated too. I grew up on state parks. I believe in nature. Um, I have an affinity to animals, so I've always said I do what I do because I love animals and I think they need a place to live. And I think a lot of people, when they think of Newport Beach, they're not necessarily thinking of habitat and species diversity and all of these things, but we have all of this going on. So I think that people have a natural affinity towards that. It's good for our soul. You get off a freeway and you come here, this is, this this is where you really feel what it's like to be human. I think the more we get into nature, the more human we become. I hiked the entire California Coastal Trail, all 1,200 miles. We began in Oregon and we ended in Mexico. It took us 112 days. My experience hiking the California Coastal Trail is the reason why I have this job. I don't believe that most people are aware that this is a part of the California Coastal Trail. When I first started this job about eight years ago, there were probably 20 to 30 people a, a month would hike down to Crystal Cove. Now, during the summertime, that happens in a day. And so people are discovering uh, hiking down to Crystal Cove, but they, I don't think that they're aware of the fact that they're on the California Coastal Trail, but that's what I'm down here for. On a day like today, you wouldn't know that this tiny little beach, which probably is about uh, a half a mile long, uh, receives over 90,000 visitors. The value of having a trail next to the coast, uh, California coastline is amazing. And it is something that once experienced changes your life, makes you a better person. We try to be down here, not necessarily at periods when the tide is low, when the tide's out so that the rocks are exposed, but we try to be here when we have a lot of visitation. So we will be down here telling people what lives here, how you can be a good um, environmental steward, um, you know, all sorts of things like that, which you can take back to your home. Even if you live in Utah, you can take some of these concepts back home and you'll be a better environmental steward. So that's, that's why we're here and that's what we do. I think it was Steinbeck that said people come to the tide pools to fall in love with the ocean. If you're not really a swimmer, if you're not comfortable you know, being in and around the water, the tide pools are a great window into the ocean. 